How's it going again? Um, I hope you're doing well. Let's have a look at part number three. That's why you're here. This is on page 66 of the book. And um, I'm just looking at it here. I, I would start, if I had this and this is put in front of me, like it is now, I'm going to start with this shape here. This, I don't know what you'd call it, a semicircle with the two lines. We're going to forget about this cutout. So we have a semicircle, we've got a couple of lines. Um, that's a good place to start. Um, don't worry about that, you're not going to have that issue. File, new, part. Yours, is, it's going to look a little bit bigger. So I'm going to do a sketch on the front plane. Uh, let's change the, the units again each time. And I'll get the circle going. And what size is it? It's radius 20, so it's going to be diameter 40. And I'm just going to come down here, catch those quadrant points. Sometimes you have to lock, you kind of, I'm not clicking it, I'm just like telling it to wake up. And there it goes, and then I can bring it up. Uh, I'm going to trim this, power trim. And what's the distance from the top to the bottom? 40. Where did I get that? Right there. So, um, how much do I need to extrude this by? Um, 55, okay. Are they both 55? One's 65, the other one's 55. We've got to get the right one. Um, bear with me, this one is 55. This is the front view, that's the top. So, I'll, I exit out of this. I'm gonna, in this example, I'm gonna use a mid plane. And I'm gonna make it 55. And there's that. The next one sketch I'm gonna do is on the right plane. And I'm gonna create a sketch on that. And we're gonna draw um, this, it's just a rectangle with two fillets on top. Now, what size are they? They're saying they're, they're 10 in. I didn't, did I make this 35? How high is it? 35, 54 across. No, we don't want that. So we'll just do it out corner rectangle. Something like that. And I'm going to press escape, get my center line from the, something like, I don't know. Make sure it's black. I'll make these two lines. Do you see I'll use the green box there? I'm gonna make them symmetrical across. Now, what did we say? We said this was 35 and 54. We may as well put in the fillets now while we're at it. And what size are they? They're radius two. So, all right. And that's it. Easy sketch. Keep your sketches simple. There's, you know, um, keep them simple. Now, um, what are we extruding this by? We're extruding this out 65. So I'll exit out of this. I go extrude, mid plane again. We make this 65. Now, what, what's important? Remember, you click, you make this merge result is, is switched on. We want this to be one body. Now, we go back. This is easy enough, and we go back, and what's next? We may as well put in this, um, I don't know what you'd call it. I don't know, that, that cutout shape. Um, and it's here. I click on this face. Piece of cake. Get myself a center line and I'll make this point and this point symmetrical across that now what's the height of this thing it's 7 and then it's 24 across so it's from there to there is 7 and then the length of this lad is 24 and I'll bring this over can I make this point and this and this 
symmetrical and let's have a look uh, 72 degrees from there to there 72 all right happy days I'll exit out of this and we'll go through all and we have that cut out all right what's next um we'll do the hole we have a hole here diameter 20 so i'll just do a sketch i'll get my circle it's funny enough i got bloody as you all know you're all hopefully wash your hands with sanitizer i got some of my eye it's quite sore um all right we'll go uh, through the cut through all all right we've got the hole what's next we'll get is this hole going all the way through it is it goes all the way through and then there's a little keyway gizmo here so now let's have a look how high is that it's up 40 now if i go from there to there is that 40 is the origin 40 um look i'll just get a circle going and i'll go from there to there is vertical and from here to here we'll make we'll make this 40 and bang right on the origin now what size is this lad here uh, this is a hole of radius 10 that goes all the way through so we make this diameter 20 we'll go exit look i'm gonna i'm gonna add this um little keyway thing now just so there's no harm just seeing you a different way of doing it um let's get a center line coming all the way down um now it's a five it's 35 degrees i'm seeing from there to there and it comes out four right so from there to there it's going to be 35 i'm going to get myself uh, a little line here come out good lad come out and come out and i'm just going to make this and this and this parallel Oof. um there's an automatic relation that's being a pain it's that one there i think i'm just going to delete that and i'm going to delete this relation that's the relation that's being the pain and i'm going to make this this and this watch your automatic relations that pop up and i'm going to make this and this uh, perpendicular this and this i'm holding in the control key the whole time and hitting perpendicular select multiple things now we said the length of this did we say it's four okay okay that's big wait that just doesn't look weird uh four all right and then the length of this is five let's try it again okay and then i'm going to make this and this and this symmetrical it all goes black Jeez, that looks mighty big i don't know maybe five four radius ten through okay that, that's that's it okay i must be missing something all right now what am i going to do i'm going to click the sketch i go to extrude cut i'm using my selected contours i don't care about the key right now we're just going to go through all all right where's my sketch gone i can find it right here and then i go extrude a cut and how much does this go in uh, eight okay i like it what's next we have let me have a sup here radius two fill it radius two radius two all around here okay so let's have a look i can just click on two lines tangent propagation will carry it all the way across there's one 
and there's the second one i'm going to go okay for the teachers that are there i don't know if some of you are, if you're a teacher and you're teaching this fillets can add a little if you are trying to get your students to match the masses whenever you have this type of fillet carry on going on it can cause a little bit of trouble and it can play with the if if it's it, it can mess up the masses a little bit it's a little bit confusing for the students this is an easy enough one so it's no problem so what do we do we go to right click 1060 alloy and you'd go to evaluate mass properties and you'd have your you'd have your mass i think that's everything um yeah i think that's everything okay guys hope you're all doing okay and um you know let's have a look at this one that's a piece of cake i'm even going to knock this one out in a few minutes and i think i'm going to call it then that's an easy one too um talk to you later